Hello there. We are live from Sågmyra in Dalarna in Sweden. And this is kind of a happening place. There's a lot of music going on here, arts, fashion, food. And we are here tonight with Johnny Mitch. Hello, Johnny Mitch. Hello. How are you doing tonight? I'm very good, thank you. Very good. So the reason we are here tonight is that Johnny has been recording a video for his new single that got out today. Uh, it's Hand in Glove. Hand in Glove, this, the, the first single that the Smiths actually released. And it will be one of five singles that I intend to release over the next coming months. But this one, Hand in Glove, is out today. So this is so exciting because this is um, a project where you have been recreating five Smith songs that are going to be an EP. First release is today, 27th of August, and then you have one release per month except December. And then the EP is out in January. Yeah. And you've been working on this for a long time, yeah. Exactly. I'm a big lover of the, the music of Johnny Marr. And in fact, all the music put together, the bass playing of uh, Andy Rock and, um, and Mick Joyce playing the drums and would be nothing without the lyrics of Morrissey, of course. So it's a lot to put together. It's been a big, a long time planning this project. And I, I promised myself to do this for so many years. And now we're here. We're at the first release. Yes. <laughs> we get to be here with you, so oh, that's amazing. Thanks. And and I hope you guys enjoy that as well. I hope you enjoy it out there as much as I've enjoyed putting it together. Yeah. I mean, you're also from Manchester, which is a big part of this whole project. I'm from Manchester, and I grew up with the music of the Smiths. They were very much, I felt like, my local band in a way. And um, I was so passionate about their music. And... Um, this the idea of this is I really wanted to actually just pay tribute to just how great some of these songs were and um, and actually play them. I want to play them myself as well. And um, maybe maybe if it helps bring more people into the music of the Smiths that didn't know who they were before, then I'll feel very, very happy indeed. That is really exciting. I mean, one of the questions that's been asked in connection with this project is the simple question, why? Why would you take songs from, like, such iconic songs from this classic band, The Smiths, and just recreate them? Why? Well, you've said something there. The why, first of all, is why not? But more importantly, um, they are, I always thought that the, the music was so difficult. And it is, actually, when you say about there's a lot of things. It's quite intricate, and there's a lot of things going on, and it... it, it it's, it's really a journey of discovery as well. You know, when you get into this music, you really get into, I'm, I'm actually getting into something in my past as well. But I think there's something within it as well that has a, a type of sound that typifies, oh, there's lots of different musical influences going on. So it's a musical journey as well, which has been fantastic. I've really enjoyed doing it. And um, yeah, I, I hope that shows actually. Well, it's interesting that you say that it's a musical journey because I also noticed in some of your comments that as soon as you mention Morrissey and the Smiths, there's talk about politics. And I think for, y for you, I'm glad that you said that, yeah. I think it's all about the music, though, isn't it? It's all about the music. Let's be very straight about this. Yes, it's not about anything to do with politics. This is all about the music. I think them guys can speak for themselves on their politics. I am just really here to pay tribute to the great music that they came out with. So uh, I would like to be very, very straight about that. Yeah, th that's amazing. I'm so glad about that. And then another thing that you mentioned was that because the Smiths aren't actually playing anymore together as a band, it's like you don't have a chance to go and, and see the band play together. So, you know, that's another... So that was the reason why as well. I mean, one of the things is I wish there were more bands playing that type of music. So... What it came down to was like, well, if you don't see anything that's around, why don't you go do it yourself? And that's exactly, that was the very first thing, actually. Mm -hmm. Why don't you try it yourself and see how you get on? So we're here. I think that's an excellent yeah. reply to the question, why? why? <laughs> we had a really good, good reply to that. Yeah, well, I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that's good that people ask a question as well. Yeah. And, and it's a difficult, I mean, the band have a big... The Smiths have a big cult following, and I don't want to be, you know, people that already know the Smiths, you already know what we're talking about here. I'm not wishing to take anything away from that. I'm merely wanting to actually show 
really just actually celebrate how great these songs actually were. And I hope that that comes over as well. I think that's very important. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a celebration of good music, basically. Really? That's yeah. It. So maybe we should hear a little sneak peek of the song that's been released today. It is Hand in Glove. And um, apart from the drums, who are played by Eric Berglund from Massive Musik in Mockfjärd in Sweden, who's the producer as well and the recording technician and just general magic, magic. sprinkled by Eric on this track. Mm -hmm. But apart from him playing amazing drums, you play all the guitars, you play the bass and you're singing as well. Yeah, so tell us a bit more about that. Well, that's um, the thing that the guitaring came about because, as I said, I'm a lover of Johnny Marr's music, his guitar playing and his guitar style. There's so many things going on within it. Morrissey's type of singing, too, is very specific, so there's some nuances that uh, I, you know, it's, I wouldn't want to actually try and copy exactly, but I'm trying to get in the ballpark there and those nuances, which is very um, typical of his... I think very typical of his upbringing. We have kind of the same background. I come from a, a Celtic background of, a, of a, a Scottish family there from Irish families, everybody in the band. And um, I think these, these characteristics of Johnny and, and Marcy's uh, music is important. But never let it be said as well, you know, if we don't under, uh, underestimate Andy Rourke's bass playing because he was a monster. And Mick Joyce pulling it all together, the whole package yeah. is very, very important and they were really really just something together as a team and it's really really hard to create recreate so it's been a uh, it Did has been know? a discovery yeah i mean i was going to say that as well not only the playing like the melodies and the notes and everything but it's also the sounds the sound. of the band it's not yeah it's the feel and the sound which has taken a lot of time for you to figure out what exactly did the original recordings have in terms of of sound and, and feel and Stephen Street, they, there was a lot of information from the producers and recording engineers to actually take in and and try and do something with. So, um, and we'll get to more on that when the, new, the other songs come out. On this one, this was straight ahead. This song was record was released in 1984. It was recorded at St uh, Strawberry Studios in Stockport in Manchester. Um, which is incidentally um, one of Godley and Cream ran the place from 10cc. Um, and the, the Smiths ended up recording it. I'm pretty sure that Joy Division might have done it at some point too. They had something to do with that studio or the, the engineer. I might be wrong on that, just so. But um, this came out in 84, and we are revisiting 1984 with Hand in Glove. And um, I, s I really, uh, sincerely from my heart, I hope you enjoy it. And hope what I'd like to offer you. I think we should hear, hear a little sneak peek. You can, of course, go straight to Spotify, search for Johnny Mitch and Hand in Glove, and you'll hear the track. But we thought we'd give you just a little sneak peek on here. And um, so, yeah, the Smith's first single, and it's also the first single from your... I think that's the best way to go about it. <coughs> yeah, and your project is called Your Strange Ways, your strange we should way. say as well. And why is that Strange Ways? We could, uh, we could explain that. You can, you can explain that while I go and I'll set up the music. Okay, if you, if you want to do that. So yeah, I call the project Your Strange Ways, and that's firstly because Strange Ways, um, one of Smith's album, the last album is Strange Ways, Here We Come. Strange Ways is a part of Manchester, and also the part where the prison is situated, and as well as that because of, um, you know, Your Strange Ways. I think that, you know, Morrissey has made himself quite an outspoken um, kind of spokesperson for the band. Um, I thought that kind of was apt, but it's in no way meant to be um, detrimental to, to himself or anybody else for that matter. I just thought that was a, seemed to be an apt title. So that's what my EP will be called. It's a five-track EP, and like I say, more information will come out in time. I think if we're very lucky, um, Sophie might be able to, to, to call in um, a little snippet from Hand in Glove, if not the, um, the whole track, then enough for you to get a taster of what's it, what it's about. Um, and as she has said, you can go into Spotify, call up Johnny Mitch, Hand in Glove, um, by The Smiths, it is out today. And um, I really hope you enjoy it. This is Hand in Glove. Yeah. 
shines out of our behinds No, it's not like any other love This one is different because it's us A little snippet of Hand and Glove. <laughs> Fantastic, Johnny Mitch. Before we finish off this little interview over here in Sogmere in Sweden, I actually want to ask you about your guitar because we have your guitar here with us. And uh, do you just want to tell us a little bit about why you've chosen to play this guitar and what guitar it is? Sure. This is actually a, a, a Novo guitar made in Nashville uh, by a designer made by the maker Dennis Fano. And perfect for playing this type of music. I don't know whether people know Johnny Marr first started playing on a 50s Telecaster that was owned by the producer of the first record. And uh, this sounds very similar in a lot of ways. It has some uh, characteristics of a, of a 50s style American guitar. And uh, it's, this got a feel like an old friend, so I, I feel like uh, the guitar is quite new, but I feel like I've had it forever, mm. really. So this is the combination of the Johnny Marr combination, and as well as that, it's closer to his Jaguar shape. It's called an offset body guitar, and a Fender amplifier, which Johnny Marr is a big, um, big lover and endorser of um, Fender products. How amazing, so a Nova guitar. It is my pride and joy. Pride and joy. <laughs> so, I think. Um, Thanks for asking. Yes, you're welcome. So, I think for all of you uh, music nerds out there, and Swiss nerds, Marcy nerds, Johnny Marr nerds, I think um, it's going to be exciting to follow Johnny Mitch in the future here um, and see what he gets up to with all these releases up till January next year. So, yeah, thank. Yeah. Thank you very much for this interview and we'll see you again. Thanks very much for having me. That was great. <laughs> so everyone, thanks for joining in and uh, we will see you very shortly for another exciting update from Johnny Mitch. Thanks.